Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel, Markovnikov's, Rule. It should be understood that, unsaturated molecules, undergo, addition reactions, contrary to the saturated molecules, which undergo, substitution reactions. Alkenes, being unsaturated, undergo, addition reactions, specifically, electrophilic addition reactions. In alkenes, at least, there will be one double bond. The electron density will be more, between those two carbon atoms, that are involved, in the double bond formation. So, the species with less electron density, that is electrophile, can add to the double bond. Thus, unsaturated molecules, like alkenes, undergo electrophilic addition reactions. To start with, please understand the mechanism of addition of hydrogen halide to ethene. Ethene hydrogen halide as the pi bond is formed by the lateral overlapping of unhybridized p orbitals it is a weak bond hence the pi electrons are polarizable the first step in this mechanism is protonation of double bond under the appropriate reaction conditions pi electrons of the alkene attack hydrogen atom of hydrogen halide as a result transition state 1 is formed this transition state leads to the formation of ch bond complete shift of bond pair of electrons of hx bond onto halogen forming the halide ion and, important point is, the formation of, carbocation. In the second step, halide ion attacks, the carbocation, leading to the formation of, transition state 2. From the transition state 2, the product, ethyl halide, is formed. The mechanism of the reaction can also be viewed as energy profile diagram of addition of HX to alkenes. Alkene. Hydrogen halide. Under the appropriate reaction conditions, pi electrons of the alkene attack hydrogen atom of hydrogen halide. As a result, transition state 1 is formed. This transition state leads to the formation of CH bond, complete shift of, bond pair of electrons of, HX bond, onto halogen, forming the halide ion, and, important point is, the formation of, carbocation. In the second step, halide ion attacks, the carbocation, leading to the formation of, transition state 2. From the transition state 2, the product, ethyl halide, is formed. Prior to the discussion of, Markovnikov's rule, it is essential to know, the concept of, symmetrical, and, unsymmetrical alkenes. If, 
onto the both sides of the double bond, same atoms, or, same groups of atoms, are present, then, it is symmetrical alkene. For example, in ethene. Onto the both sides of the double bond, only hydrogen atoms are present. Hence, ethene is symmetrical alkene. But, in propene. Onto the, one side of the double bond, there are, two hydrogen atoms. While, onto the other side, one hydrogen atom, and, a methyl group, are present. So, propene is, unsymmetrical alkene. When, unsymmetrical reagent, like HX, is added to, symmetrical alkene, like ethene, single product, is formed. Ethene Addition of, HX. If protonation takes place on C1, and, X- attacks, on C2. Haloethane, is the product. Alternatively, if protonation takes place, on C2, and, X- attacks, on C1. Again, same haloethane, is formed. But, when unsymmetrical reagent, like HX, is added to unsymmetrical alkene, like propene, two products are formed. Propene Addition of, HX If protonation takes place on C1, and, X- attacks, on C2. Two halopropane, that is, isopropyl halide, is formed. Alternatively, if protonation takes place, on C2, and, X- attacks, on C1. One halopropane, that is, n-propyl halide, is formed. Among the above two products, two halopropane, is the major product, while, one halopropane, is the minor product. Formation of the major product, two halopropane, is in accordance with, Markovnikov's rule. Markovnikov's rule. According to Markovnikov's rule, when, an unsymmetrical reagent, like HX, is added to unsymmetrical alkene, then, H plus adds on to, that sp2 carbon, which has, more number of hydrogen atoms, and, the negative part of the addendum, adds on to, that sp2 carbon, having, less number of hydrogens. Explanation, through the mechanism of the reaction, to understand, Markovnikov's rule. Propene. HX. The first step is, protonation of, sp2 carbon. If, protonation takes place on, C1. Isopropyl carbocation, that is, a secondary carbocation, is formed. Now, X- attacks, C2. As a result, 2 halopropane, that is, isopropyl halide, is formed. Alternatively, if protonation takes place on, C2. And propyl carbocation, that is, a primary carbocation, is formed. Now, X- attacks, C1. As a result, one halopropane, that is, n-propyl halide, is formed. The formation of, two halopropane, as the major product, is explained, based on the formation of, more stable, secondary carbocation, as the, reaction intermediate. One halopropane, is the minor product, 
because of the formation of less stable primary carbocation as the reaction intermediate. It is very important to note that secondary carbocation is more stable than primary carbocation because in secondary carbocation due to the involvement of 6 alpha hydrogens in hyperconjugation 6 hyperconjugated forms are possible while in primary carbocation due to the involvement of only 2 alpha hydrogens in hyperconjugation only 2 hyperconjugated forms are possible greater the number of hyperconjugated forms more will be the stability hyperconjugated forms of isopropyl carbocation Hyperconjugated forms of N propyl carbocation. Anti Markovnikov's addition. When an unsymmetrical reagent, like HX, is added to unsymmetrical alkene, like propene, in the presence of peroxides, though, two products are obtained, the major product is, one halopropane, and, the minor product is, two halopropane, contrary to, Markovnikov's rule. Addition of, HX, in the presence of, peroxide. One halopropane that is, n-propyl halide, is formed. It is the major product. Along with the formation of 1 halopropane, certain amount of 2 halopropane, that is isopropyl halide, is also formed. It is the minor product. Explanation for anti-Markovnikov's addition. In the first step, Peroxide dissociates into free radicals. So form peroxy free radical, react with HX, to generate, halogen free radical. It is the chain initiation step. Next, when halogen free radical attacks first carbon off propene. A secondary free radical is formed. Now, hydrogen free radical attacks C2. As a result, one halopropane, the major product, is formed. The halogen free radical attacks another molecule of propene. In this manner, chain propagates. This chain reaction terminates by the combination of free radicals. Mechanism for the formation of minor product, that is, 2 halopropane, is shown below.
Alternatively, if halogen free radical attacks, second carbon of propene. A primary free radical is formed. Now, hydrogen free radical attacks, C1. As a result, 2 halopropane, the minor product, is formed. The halogen free radical attacks another molecule of propene. In this manner, chain propagates. This chain reaction terminates by the combination of free radicals. So, by closely observing the above mechanisms, we can understand that, because of the formation of relatively more stable secondary free radical, as the reaction intermediate, one halopropane, is the major product. But, 2 halopropane is the minor product, as less stable primary free radical is formed as the reaction intermediate. So, formed secondary free radical is more stable due to the formation of five hyperconjugated forms because of the involvement of five alpha hydrogens in the hyperconjugation. While the primary free radical formed in the above reaction is less stable due to the involvement of only one alpha hydrogen in hyperconjugation resulting in the formation of only one hyperconjugated form greater the number of hyperconjugated forms more will be the stability hyperconjugated forms of secondary free radical Five hyperconjugated forms. Primary free radical form due to the attack of halogen free radical and C2. Only one hyperconjugated form is formed. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe